Welcome back everybody, here we are. Here we are, Sorcerer's Tower <laughs> is up, as you can see right here. We've got the normal Sorcerer's Tower and the fatal Sorcerer's Tower. So you guys, I am going to try my best to just record every single fatal battle, okay? And here we are at our first one, usually the easiest, but it does give us just a little taste of what we're gonna be up against here, climbing up this crazy, crazy tower. And before we get into this, I just wanna say like, Prepare to be frustrated, okay? Um, I've been doing a lot of research lately just on um, mobile games in general, and there is a point to where they kind of want the player not to be able to accelerate too quickly without making purchases. So we've kind of figured that out already through these towers. Um, they've really, we've seen them change the mechanics of their monetization, and just be prepared to be frustrated because there will be points at which there's um, breaks being applied um, from the boss fights as well like these friction points or just these pinch points um, that are going to make you feel like you need to buy equipment uh, and that is up to you if you want to do that or not but just to let you know be prepared for that because that will that will be coming there's no doubt about it but anyways let's um let's do this so I've got I actually have two teams I've got my MK11 team, which so far has been doing pretty good. Again, we're only at battle 20, so haven't really, really been able to test it much. But then I also have just this other, like, team, right? Where'd I do? All right, here's team two. So MK11 Jade, and then Classic Smoke and Classic Scorpion. So honestly, I think MK11 Jade and Classic Smoke are probably gonna be the strongest characters um, so far. I know that changes once you get up into like the hundreds because that, then you start pulling in characters that you never thought you'd need. Um, but so far, this team, these two teams have been working pretty good for me. Let me know who you've been using. But here we go, you guys. Um, also, maybe I should show you what I have these characters equipped with. So let's go back to my, I'm probably gonna be using this team right here, Sorcerer Team 1. Um, and I did purchase one of the packs already. I'm gonna stop there for a while, but this, I did end up getting um, the Soul Reavers King Cobra Belt, which allows MK11 Jade, 15% um, max health boost, and then whenever opponent performs a successful special attack or combo enter, there's a 10% chance to apply cripple. And obviously I'm gonna get 80% max health boost. Now I just put that on here because it does give you that um, boost in the tower. This is the big one right here though, the Epic Varen Jacket, that's the Epic I got from that pull. 15% um, chance to dodge a special attack, so with her, now, and of course 300% max health boost, and then 40% chance opponent's basic attack, critical hits for 20% of incoming damage instead of dealing damage. So kind of interesting there, but that chance to dodge, that's the big one right there, guys, because MK11 Jade, obviously her special, she has a 25% chance to dodge anyways. So you're just adding onto that. So she's just gonna be like crazy invisible all the time. Um, here's some other equipment that I have. Well, that's what I've got equipped to Raiden. Just give her that unblock, well then possibly with the combo under to do a brutality. And then uh, just the living dead on uh, Cabal there. Uh, yeah, that's that's my loadout right now. Obviously it's gonna change, just like every time. But let's get into this first boss, boss fight. Boss Kraken Reptile. I haven't seen the actual graphics of what the equipment does yet, so I can't really give you information on that. I'm assuming they will drop that pretty soon. Um, and then there is Boss Vampers Molinas. They are, what's their modifiers? Damage over time, immune, and it's timed, of course. So let's get into this right now, guys. Let's just see what Battle 20 looks like on the Fatal and uh, see how this MK11 team does against these characters. Yeah, this, this tower is going to test a lot of people's patience. <laughs> let's just put it that way. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. Yeah, it's crazy. So here we go. Let's let this load up. There's my star player right there. Star player right there. MK11 Jade. I'm, I think she's going to be pretty strong in this tower. We'll see. We'll see, though. You know, once we get up to the 100s. 160, 180, 120, maybe. Anywhere up like that. It's going to get... We're going to find out. So here we are. Awesome. At the Retrocade. I haven't seen that for a while. Let's go. Let's do some damage now. He is going to apply a little damage to me because of his acid skin. Good thing I do have block breaker on. 
I have the rusty chainsaw on Jade, so she should be getting through every time. And I'm just gonna keep him tagged in. And I might have to redo my talent tree as well because I want those characters in the background. I want them just going to town creating power. Because when I get them in there, I want to be able to get rid of my poison. That's all right. Because Jade heals from that. So, so far, so good. One minute and 30 down. Or left, I should say. Let's do a little of this in your face smash. Impressive. Do a little damage. Impressive. And brutalities are going to be... You're going to want to have that brutal ending applied, I really think. Because you're going to want to stop these these bosses fast. You want to stop them in the tracks. And we're already down to one minute and 19 seconds. Let's see what she's got. Okay. There we go. And I, yes, I do have... Uh, I have Cabal uh, equipment also set up. Oh, she got me. She's going to she's gonna heal from that. This is going to be a problem right here, guys. And she's doing some damage. Look at that. All right, let's do this. Do a quick smash here. Impressive. I'm going to get Jade back in there. Guys, this is going to be a crazy tower. This is going to be a crazy tower. Gonna do some damage here. I'm going to have to get Raiden in here pretty soon. But look at that. Doing decent damage, for sure. But you guys, 49 seconds on the clock. Let's get let's get right in here. Come on, come on, iPad. Man, my iPad's just pushing back. Let's block this one again. Big deal. Got our bone shield up. Bone shield revenant. That's gonna be major too. Come on. Geez. It's like lagging big time. All right, here we go. Drop this off, you guys. That took way too long. That's the first, that is the first boss fight. That took way too long. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo a little bit. I'm gonna have to redo a little bit. It was a victory, but again, took way too long. So, there it is guys, Commando Kano. Commando Kano, as a reward. Yikes. I feel like I should be getting some like, uncommon equipment, possibly rare, that'd be nice. But anyways guys, here we go. We are all in this together, climbing up this crazy tower. Let me know who you're using to fight this tower, to go up this tower, and let me know how it's working for you. And I will do my best to record every single uh, fatal boss battle, okay? Um, it might not always be in this format. I'm just lucky enough to be at home right now with a microphone. It might be, yeah, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But anyways guys, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments who you're using for this team, or who you're using this for this tower. And yeah, here we go. Here we go, everybody. Let's go up the Sorcerer's Tower together. All right, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you like this kind of content or anything MK Mobile related, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, check out the MK Mobile podcast available on iTunes as well as Spotify.